Hello everybody, the Goody here. Today I'm going to show you how to make a couple more patterns on the Pyraminx. So the reason that I say a couple more is because I actually made a video a couple weeks ago on how to do a full checker pattern on the Pyraminx. And this one I'm going to show you how to do a kind of a half checker pattern like this. You see these three sides are kind of switched around while this side is solid. And I'm going to show you how to do this cool like super flip like pattern. Actually, if you just rotate these corners back, uh, it'll just be a super flip. You see, like that. Okay, so first off, I'm going to show you this kind of alternate checker pattern. And if you have a pyraminx like the Diane pyraminx or QIYI, which I know that's not how you pronounce it, but I don't care. If you have one of those two pyraminxes, I don't recommend doing this because taking the tips apart, which you're going to have to do, is going to be kind of hard. So, let's get on. I'll put this back real quick. So this pattern, there's actually two ways to do it. Uh, one of them is one way that I just kind of figured out and another way is a way that my friend figured out and I'm sure neither of these are original but I'm just going to show you them and so the first method is you just get this part of it first and this part of it. These are just two algorithms that you might know from solving the pyraminx. The first one is, I'm just going to start with the left, we're going to do L prime R prime or L R prime L prime R like that. Now we're going to continue on doing R U prime R prime uh, U, just like that. And so you see we have these three right here. And then from here, what you can do is you can do R U, R prime, U, R, U, R prime. There, just like that. And that uh, those two algorithms, one of them just switches around these three, and the other one switches around these three. And then from here, you can just move this tip to line up with the colors, and then take these three bottom tips off. And so you can just rotate them 60 degrees like this and pop them off. And then figure out where they would line up to make the colors look normal. In this case, it would be like this. And then like this. And like this. And there we go. We got our pattern complete. Then, of course, to undo this pattern, all you have to do is first uh, take off the tips because you're going to want to put them back first just to avoid any confusion that they might cause. And then you can either just do each of those algorithms two more times, or just do an alternate algorithm once. I'm just going to show you that alternate algorithm real quick. So what you're going to do is you're going to do R U prime R prime U prime R U prime R prime, and that will get the top backwards. And then to get this bottom part uh, back to where it started, you just do R prime L R L prime L prime. Uh, U, L, U prime. And all those algorithms will be in the description. I'll write those down and put those down there. And then a simpler alternate way to do it is to just do this algorithm eight times. So start with L, R prime, L prime, R. And then do a cube rotation and do that eight times. It's pretty much just repeating the same thing. So it's actually a lot simpler to remember. And there we go. And then you can move around the tips and stuff and then move them back. And then to undo it, you do the same thing, only starting with a left move. So you do, or a right move, so you do R prime, L, R, L prime. And then do a cube rotation the other way. And then just do that a couple times. Until you get back to the start. Okay, and so the next pattern, you don't actually have to take any of the tips off, so you can do it on any pyramids that you want to, and it'll be equally fine. And the last pattern, you could do it on this one too, it would just take a long time to take all the tips off, because they come off in three pieces, which was what I meant. And so, we'll just do it on this one for the sake of simplicity. So what we'll do is, there's a two-flip algorithm, which will flip two uh, edges. You'll need to use this for almost any... Um, Pyraminx method, so if you know how to solve a Pyraminx, you likely know this uh, algorithm. And so the one that I use, there's actually a couple of different ones, is L, R prime, L prime, R, uh, U prime, R, U, R prime. And you see it'll just switch these two around. And so now what you're going to do is you're going to find two more that haven't been switched. In my case, I just like to go to these two and do the algorithm one more time. Again, it's on screen and in the description. And then go to the last two and flip those two around too. Just like that. And so it always flip, it always will flip the two top ones, like here and here. Then from here, uh, depending on what pattern you want to make, uh, it actually doesn't really depend, it doesn't really make a difference. Just turn each of the tips the same direction. 
So I'll just do clockwise. You can do counterclockwise. It'll also work. So clockwise, 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 clockwise. And there we go. We have our pattern. I think it actually looks kind of coolest uh, if you just look at one side at a time. You see we kind of have these central three pieces and then these three uh, double pieces out on the outside. Like this, it just kind of looks overwhelming and it doesn't really look cool. Unless you look at it from a certain angle, it can't look cool. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And to undo it is just the exact opposite. Just undo the tip moves and then do the exact same two flip algorithm and it'll flip all the pieces back around. Just make sure to line it up on the top two pieces, do the algorithm, and there we go. So yeah, that's pretty much it for these two patterns. Uh, they're both pretty simple, pretty simple patterns that you can do on a Pyraminx. And along with that other checker pattern, uh, which I have in the other video, uh, those are just all the three main Pyraminx patterns that I've been able to come up with. And I'm sure there's more, and I'm sure I wasn't the first one to come up with those, but they're still pretty cool. And so if you like this video, definitely leave a like down below to show me that you liked it and uh, leave suggestions for future videos like this and uh, that you want me to make in the future. Uh, any sort of pattern video, I am good at doing that and they're easy to make, so go ahead, leave a suggestion down below and I'll be sure to make them as soon as I possibly can. And uh, again, yeah, leave suggestions, leave a like, and subscribe if you want to be notified when a future video like this comes out. And if you have any other questions or comments, leave those in the comments below. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!